Hey y'all, welcome uh, back in the kitchen. This is a part of our apple week. You know, apples are in season and it's just wonderful to be able to use the fresh, fresh, fresh apples in our recipes. And today I am gonna make uh, Paula's French apple custard. And tomorrow, the, the uh, video following this one, uh, Bobby's gonna complete the week of Apple Week for us. So in the next video, it'll be Bobby making some kind of wonderful apple dessert. And I don't even know what it is myself. So I'll be sure and stay tuned. <laughs> All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do is add my sugar and my cornstarch. And uh, you know, if it says custard, that means it's gonna be cooked. to make it real creamy. All right, and now I'm gonna slowly add my apple juice, <laughs> if I can get that, to, there you go. But first of all, I want to uh, blend my cornstarch and my sugar together. Cause I don't want any lumps in my custard. <laughs> all right, now I'm slowly gonna add my apple juice to my cornstarch and sugar mixture. Get that blended up real good. Okay, now I'm gonna add um, our orange zest. And that's the zest from one orange. I think I'm gonna switch over to a spoon now because I don't want my zest to get caught up in my little whisk. All right, so next is the lemon juice. And then last but not least is our orange juice. And we're gonna cook this over medium heat until it's thickened. And that will take mm, about five minutes. Did I put gas in it? Uh, jest. She called it jest. Ain't Peggy? Ain't Peggy was filming with me one day, and uh, God love her. She and I can mutilate the English language quicker than any two people I know. But I think she's worse than me, isn't she, Michael? Yeah. As far as mutilating. <laughs> So I said, uh, okay, what do we need next, Aunt Peggy? And she said, we need some orange jest. <laughs> I said, what's orange jest? <laughs> she said, you know, the grated up. <laughs> oh, okay, you mean zest. Yes. <laughs> Little smart aleck Paula. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just talked to her a minute ago and made her a doctor's appointment to come over here. So we'll see her shortly, Michael, for her appointment. All right, I've got one egg yolk right here. And when our ingredients get thick, I am gonna temper this one egg with a little bit of the hot custard mix so it won't turn into a scrambled egg. So we'll do that by slowly incorporating the hot with the egg. And um, here's something I've been wanting to ask y'all. I love, 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 love when y'all uh, send me your favorite recipes from your family or whatever. Uh, and it doesn't seem like I've gotten any lately. Have we? Have we, Teresa or Eddie, somebody? Some what questions? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, some recipes. We haven't gotten a lot of recipes lately. I know it. We need some people to send some in. Yeah, we need to write a new book. 
He is so funny. <laughs> Write a cookbook, other people's recipes. <laughs> no, I just love it uh, when y'all um, share your stories with me and uh, share your recipes because some that y'all send are super, super, super good. And, uh, well, they've all, none of them's been bad, have they? Eddie? No. Uh-uh. I don't recall any of them being bad. But I had a favorite, probably, but I don't remember what it is, so. <laughs> but I remember falling in love with one of the recipes. But anyway, if y'all are watching out there, send me some of your favorite recipes and your stories because it's, um, it's my wish that when you see me, that it, it clicks something in your brain that takes you back to when you were a kid and, and you're, you were in such a safe time with mama and daddy and grandmama and granddaddy and aunts and uncles. Okay, it's starting to get thick. All right, so I'm going to pull it off. Oh, it looks wonderful. Now, oh, and it is so thick. All right, now I'm going to add just a little bit to the egg yolk. So pretty, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing worse than... Uh, biting into your custard and having <laughs> a spoonful of scrambled eggs. <laughs> so, oh yeah, that's nice and warm. So, I'm gonna transfer that into the rest of our custard. Come on, Paula, get every bit out. And we're going to put it back on the heat, and I'm going to cut it down some because we now we just want to make sure the egg yolk is cooked. This is going to be delicious. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna set this to the side because we can't finish our recipe until this is cooled. And that's gonna take a few minutes. And then we'll get started on the rest. Y'all, the first thing that I remember my Aunt Peggy teaching me how to do was a fruit tray. The second thing was arrangements of greenery from coming from your yard. She used to do the most beautiful bouquets and bring in her house and, and put it in a vase in her house, and they were so pretty. But um, her fruit trays. And you know what? I, I went to look to find a picture of some of the fruit trays that I've done over the years. I couldn't find the first picture. So, <clears throat> so I just put together a very small uh, fruit tray because this apple, uh, French green apple custard is gonna be so good to dip your fruit in. So I've got um, like a cup and a half of heavy cream and we're gonna whip this. And I've got uh, my other ingredients over here and they've cooled. It looks so good, <laughs> so pretty. See the color? And I added three tablespoons of butter to that when I uh, took it off the heat so the butter could melt in it. And I have got, gosh, it looks like about a third of a cup, which I may need a little bit more because this is, this is my measurements for uh, heavy cream making a whipped cream. I use a fourth of a cup of sugar per cup of heavy cream. That may be a little sweet for some people, 
but it sure is good. So um, this is a fourth of a cup, so I don't think that's going to be enough. I think we're going to have to add a little bit more sugar to it. But let me see how sweet is that. I can't remember. So very good. And it's sweet. Gonna take this a while to get thick because I don't I didn't choose a very big bowl. <laughs> And if I turn it on high, it'll be all over me, all over Eddie, all over everywhere. But, uh, so Aunt Peggy taught me to uh, buy two beautiful pineapples. And if I need to, just trim the bottom so one could stand up properly. And then she taught me to take the other one and take not quite half, but leave it, cut it where your, your um, crowns of the pineapple will still be intact. You don't want to mess with that. So just cut that pineapple where it will leave your, your, what would you call those things on top of a pineapple, Eddie? From, I guess. From, yeah, I, I can't think of another word. But anyway, she taught me to stand up a pineapple on a beautiful silver tray, lay the other pineapple in front of it, and scoop it all out because that's going to be our holder for our custard. And then uh, just all kind of fruits. And you want to look at your colors of your fruit and have it, like not all red things here, but have it intermingled. And it is just beautiful. So thank you, Aunt Peggy. Can't believe I can't find a picture of it. As many as I've made over the years. I'm gonna try to cut this up a little bit more, speed it up. I just don't wanna get it all over me. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding our confectionate sugar. I did add maybe two more tablespoons. And to me, the sweetness is just right. Now, I'm going to take our cooled. Let me touch that. Yes, it's nice and cool. So I'm going to take our juices that have thickened. And I'm going to fold this into... Uh, our whipped cream. Now you know you can use uh, a frozen whip topping, but you know I just love the real deal. Alright, so I'm just going to fold that in like that. And on my website y'all will find some more wonderful fruit dip recipes. Uh, some you cook, which would make it a custard, and some is just a cream where it requires no cooking. Look at this beautiful color. It's coming to life. It's coming to life, y'all. Mm. If you wanted to enhance the color, you could add a couple of drops of maybe a yellow food coloring, but I think it's beautiful just like it is. All right. Now I'm going to fill up my cup. I love those streaks of the orange in it. See the orange color? Yes, I love that.
perfect. How pretty. Now we've got, <laughs> I've got whipped cream where I slung it on there, on the mint. <laughs> uh, so you'll want to beat your cream away from your fruit tray. <laughs> and now we've got ginger snaps, apples, watermelon, raspberries, strawberries, um, red and green apples. I don't know if I said that. And the orange, the orange is so good. So, um, being me, <laughs> I think I'm going to go in for the ginger snap. Mmm. That is so good, y'all. I don't want to double dip, so naturally I will have a little spoon, a pretty little silver spoon in my dip. So like I said, uh, you can go on my website and find many, many more. <laughs> In fact, uh, Aunt Peggy actually shared the French cream recipe with me. I mean the French custard. And it is delicious. Uh, the gingerbreads have a little bit of heat to them. And they're so good with that dip. So I hope y'all like it. I hope you'll try it. It's a wonderful, uh, at Christmas time, a wonderful dish. If you're having a little get together, I don't know how hard it would be to get the fruits together, but it makes a beautiful dish on your Christmas or Thanksgiving table. Loving best dishes, y'all. <laughs> mm. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.